interesting to tell you about all the religions of the world. Yet now it's time, as the Dalai Lama declared, for a new spirituality. The day and the time has come on this planet for us to embrace a new spirituality. That is, a new way to honor our experience and our impulse toward the divine, which does not make anyone else wrong for the way in which they're doing it. That's generally an applause line. <laughs> I guess I delivered it badly. <laughs> but truly, yet who will bring such a new spirituality, such a new idea, such a complete change in our cultural story to the planet? Who will do it? Who will do it? And when will it be done? Who will win this human race. Those who would tell us the stories of yesterday's God, the stories of a God who would kill, who would judge, who would punish, who would condemn, or those who would tell us stories of tomorrow's God, a God who would never kill or punish or condemn anyone. Who will win this human race? And how will this new cultural story get out? Who will carry it to humanity? So that humanity can hope once again. Because let me tell you something, please, if you, if you don't get anything else tonight, please get this. Let me tell you something. This as well is not simply a matter of our individual theologies. It was just a matter of religious differences. Well, so what? But you can see by looking at the geopolitical map of the world that it, is, it has transcended long since past that. Who will stop this insanity before it can't be stopped? Who will stand up and say, it is time for a new spirituality? who will be the hope of humanity, and when will that person or those people emerge? If not now, when? And if not you? You're the team. You're the team. If not you, <laughs> if not those of us who know, then who? So that's what I'm doing here tonight. I've come here unashamedly, unabashedly. I have no shame at all about this. I've come here to enroll you in a new and wondrous adventure, in a new and wondrous mission, in a new and wondrous undertaking, the likes of which your soul could not have dreamed of until this very night. What do you think you're doing here? How do you think you got into the room to just come here and hear a best-selling author? At ridiculous prices? <laughs> what do you think brought you into the room? I tell you this. Two-thirds of you have already heard the urging, have already heard the call, have already listened to the voice within saying, now, now, now. Shift and change your life to the next level, as wondrous as you have been doing in the expressing and the experience of who you really are, now go to the next level, for your mission goes far beyond you and is a mission to touch the lives of people you never even dreamt you'd touch. 
And there are those of you in this audience who already know who you are. You've heard the clarion call. You're simply waiting for direction, a way, a purpose, how to do that. But why you? Let us ask the question, why, why you? Because, as John Kennedy said, God bless him, of those to whom much is given, much is asked. That's why you, because of those to whom much is given, much is asked. Oh, and if you had any idea, the impact that you could have if you decided to leave this theater tonight, having elevated your expression of self to the next level, having become the next grandest version of the greatest vision ever you held about who you are. If you only knew what impact that would have, you would get that you have to do nothing else. This is not about writing the next book, giving the next lecture, being on the next radio or television program like Nancy Lee. <laughs> Although God bless her for what she's doing. This is not about having to step out or step away from your family or your comfort zone. You can do this by doing very little, but by being a great deal. You can decide tonight before you leave here that the reason you came here was to get that final last little nudge, that last little kick, that last little pat on the back that says, okay, I'm ready, I'm now ready. I'm ready to live my life to experience the moments of my life, the days and times of my being, whether they be 20 years or 20 days left. Whatever time is left to me, I've, I've come here now to elevate my expression and experience of myself to such a level that all those whose lives I touch will know who I really am, thus to know who they really are, for they will take their cue from me, they will take their understanding from me, and this can truly shift and change the world. Oh, but what, what, what can I do? Even if I should happen to walk the earth as the living, breathing example of divinity itself. Even if you were to walk the earth as the living, breathing example of divinity itself, you might even say to yourself at that, okay, so I touch three or four people. I mean, the folks in my house will probably say, what in the hell is going on with you? <laughs> they've said that to me. Oh, they've said that to me. But dad, what, what's up? Why can't you be like the old dad? But even if you were to, you might say, so what? But you've all heard about six degrees of separation. The fact of the matter is, you won't just touch those four, six, eight, or 10, or 12 people. In fact, you touch about 150 people a day. Did you know that? Statistics now show us that we touch around 150 people a day, it specifically, individually, whether we know it or not. At the end of the week, that's, that's over 1,000 people. At the end of a month, it's almost four or 5,000 people. At the end of a year, we're talking like many multi-thousands of people who've had a direct physical experience of you moving through their life. If you think that you cannot shift the prevailing notion, change the prevailing reality, have an extraordinary impact beyond anything you might have imagined, it's because you have misidentified. You don't know who you really are. But what if I told you, what if I proposed to you tonight an interesting thought? What if I said something quite unusual? What if I said to you, you're going to touch 120,000 people in your life? How are you going to do that? What will the bank teller know of himself because he encountered you today? What will the lady at the supermarket understand herself to be because she encountered you today? 